This is the beginning of Agri 4B. Okay, I'm gonna call it Yaka. Yaka 4B. This one will be identified on the team as the sole character in the world, which makes sense because it's about everybody. I'm gonna do this whole introduction to the rest of the dance with you, okay? My name is Audrey Swindell. I'm 31 years old. I have two children, a 14 year old and a 10 year old. And I have been diagnosed with breast cancer. It's a death ductile breast cancer. Okay, I'm not really good at all the proper terms for everything. Anywho, I have breast cancer. Everything on it looks really bad. It's, it's quite big. It's 4.8 centimeters. Um, my second opinion doctor believes it's, it's actually probably larger because um, apparently what they saw was 4.8, but it was large and they couldn't get all of it out. Um, anywho, um, it's a very scary thing because I have a progressive breast cancer. It, it grew in a short matter of time. I can't afford to die. I've got two kids I love. Q-tips. I've changed my diet, which was fast food. Uh, I ate like McDonald's, Cars Juniors, Burger King, Jack in the Box, In and Out, all that stuff forever. I, it was it was my main diet. What happens if they get a patient who doesn't believe in God? I'm sugar addicted. I love uh, Ben Jerry's ice cream. God, I love that stuff so much. But I, I had cut back on that in like the last year or two. Pepsi. I drink Pepsi like, like there was no tomorrow. I mean, just, I wouldn't drink water every day. Pepsi, 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 Pepsi. I couldn't get enough. Go get me a new fucking Pepsi. Go. How much a new Pepsi? Go. I swear to God, if you don't give me a fucking Pepsi, you get no sex. Ever. Again. Ever. Pepsi, Pepsi. I want a fucking Pepsi. <laughs> Give me a motherfucking Pepsi! <laughs> Give me a Pepsi! <laughs> it's not funny! Would this be called an addiction, do you think? I'm just curious. I love you too, mommy! Ella, go get your mom a Pepsi. Where are you? I brought you. I could be feeling completely sick, and I knew it was because I was drinking all this Pepsi and no water and smoking. I smoke cigarettes. Open it. It's a huge. Um, I can't touch it. Why? It's sterile. Cancer, it's sterile. And I, I smoke it was quite a bit. Like it's sterile. Uh, there a couple of times I should have quit, but now um, I've, I have to quit. I have to quit drinking the Pepsi. No more Pepsi. No more smoking. No more fast food. It's all. Healthy organic first, stuff. Please, so that it's ready. Getting used to. No, it isn't. And um, <clears throat> uh, just water, juices, tea, non-caffeinated tea. What you're gonna do? Mmm. Anywho, <laughs> it's pretty gross, but you get used to it. Um, just different stuff, and I have to get on a, a new way of living. I have to. Try to exercise more. I don't exercise, okay? If I'm working, that's my exercise. If not, then, you know, whatever. When Get I clean the house, that's my exercise. Um, I have to learn to actually be active now, which it, I haven't really started yet, to be quite honest, except for maybe I'll walk more. Um, but, um, just, I don't know. 
it's weird it's changed my approach and my feelings to a lot like I'm I'm I've always been I've always loved my children and, and uh, I don't know how to explain it I'm more aware of how precious my time is with them now they, they get more of my time now than they did before and true part of it's because I was working uh, so that kind of takes away from the kids but um, yeah and um, Yes, please be careful. I want to do this for every woman out there dealing with breast cancer. It's a very scary thing. And um, it's nice to know when someone's been through it with you. And they're just plain old Jane. No one special who can afford everything. I can't. I'm pretty dirt poor. You know what this is? For women's reduction. <clears throat> What's all this long ago is here? I have no clue. Yeah. One of the things that I've learned um, that um, is really important is uh, being very involved in your best yeah. cancer, studying, researching, getting more than one opinion. It's all extremely very important. Um, people are human, they make mistakes. Doctors are absolutely human. They can make mistakes. They can also bring in their own um, biased opinions. And and there are doctors that treat you like you're not even... Well, I like that. I wasn't supposed to do that. Like you're not even involved in the process. Uh, you have no human form whatsoever. You don't... You are not a person. You're just another you're just another I don't know bill something not anyone who matters just another paycheck and uh, it, it's really sad um, I um, went to this one surgeon after they diagnosed me they found out I had breast cancer in the emergency room because I felt the streaking pain streaking through here and my veins were swollen and that wasn't normal and normally I have really tender best during my um, period which is when about this was happening but I knew this was not right so I went to the ER um, they said I had a lump inside and they seemed all worried about it which scared the dickens out of me this is how to do your own mastectomy <laughs> home project 101 I feel like some mutant from, mutant from Resident Evil. <laughs> We're running out of tape. We got five minutes. Hurry up! We <laughs> pause it. You're gonna change your gloves, anyways. Just leave me alone. You dare to say I want so let me go home on the sea. Probably got all over you again. Look at it. 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 daughter Victoria sleeping. There's my stuff. Hi Ellen, how you doing? My name's Seth. 
Um, that's Victoria. She's not actually my daughter. I was engaged to her mother, Audrey, who died nine years ago from breast cancer. It's a very scary thing. Sorry it's loud. There's a truck there because we're sleeping in an alley. And um, making this video because I know you help people. And this kid needs help. So can you help her? Vicky is actually mentally disabled. She's 25, but she, she actually got social security on the first try and she gets full social security disability benefits because when she was 13, she borrowed her mother's car. She borrowed her mother's car to get cigarettes and she ended up in a three car collision and uh, it happened right in front of the apartment complex and I was there and we ran down and Audrey told Vicky to go up to her room. And because of that, and because she had a really bad lawyer, um, she got charged with hit and run. So she spent some over 500 days, I don't remember, she knows the number, I don't remember it, over 500 days in lockup. Her life was ruined because when she was in lockup in San Bernardino County, uh, the doctors there decided to try a new drug on her. Here, try this new drug. And right after she started taking it, she said she couldn't feel half of her face and the guards didn't believe her and told her to go back to her cell. By the time someone checked her, he felt her, her finger. One of the doctors on site or nurses or somebody there on site felt her fingertip and felt her pulse. They rushed her to the emergency room and she has permanent brain damage. But she's a good kid and she's still smart. There's just things her brain just doesn't we're still building workarounds to try to fix her brain. But we're homeless, so it's constant things like this. I'm so sick of humans. I wanna have a good day today. People need to stop fucking with me! Hey guys, cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> But that guy's cool. Oh, that guy. thank God for that guy. Because exactly. it's going to be a really bad day until that guy walks yeah. by. Woo! Thank you, buddy. Thanks for being cool. Hey, thank, guys. thank God you're cool. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Ooh, if he'd stayed home today, our whole day would have gone differently. Yep. <laughs> so the money she gets from Social Security is not enough to live on. So she's on a waiting list for HUD housing. A 10-year waiting list. So she's still homeless. We're still homeless. Now I won't even get into all my problems because I'm not asking you to help me, Ellen. I'm asking you to help her. She's she used a little bit of her money to buy that motorcycle. She doesn't even have, it's broken now. She doesn't even have a helmet. She's just trying to stay alive and she's harassed constantly. She just needs some help. Because the thing about that 10 year waiting list is she's five years into it. So because of the way the government set up and the way they help people, we'll give you money, but we won't give you the housing voucher for 10 years. So she's now, she's got five more years of being homeless. I mean, all they have to do is give her a hot housing voucher and she'll be able to not be homeless. She can't go five more years, Ellen. Please help her. I've reached out before, I've reached out for help. No one ever helps. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but because we're running out of time here and I don't know how much, I know she can't go five more years. So I'm gonna just pull out all the stops and I'm gonna end this video with a trailer that I made a while, um, this film that I've been trying to make about her mother's life and the parallels with her life. And it's a film that'll probably never get made, but I'm gonna use the trailer here to try to maybe pull your heartstrings and maybe, maybe you'll help. Box, baby, I love rock and roll. Come and take a chance and dance with me.
Ow, ow, my body just got... Hold on, baby, I'm in pain. It's a very scary thing because I have a progressive breast cancer. So sometimes we have to go through things to get us where God wants us. Sweet dreams are made of these. What am I to disagree? I travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. I feel good. I knew that I would now. You give me a camera no more. Oh, I'm just a girl. All it alone me yeah, well, don't let me out of your side. Oh, baby, think you know so much. You think you know so much. You think you know so much. I can't get no boys attraction, but I try and I try. I can't get no, hold on, oh, 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 said I can't get no. What if there's a cure for cancer? If you read about it, if you study a little bit about it, then you know. As a doctor, I didn't believe it initially, but it works, and it, it works because we see it in the patient. If you have an acid environment in your blood, your body fluids, you're more prone to develop a number of different diseases, including, including cancer. If you manage to change the pH through a formula or through a healthy type of nutrition, then you can manage to eliminate a lot of uh, the diseases that a person might have, including cancer. The response is incredible. van of dreams, son. We're going to Lancaster, is that what's happening? The place I picked you up at? That's where we're going then. I mean, we're in the car. Do you have cash? Okay. <laughs> These people are what? Evil uh, type of thieves. What are you afraid is going to happen? I'm going to give you my wallet. Oh, you're giving me your wallet. Okay. Keep your mission. Okay. Probably a good idea. Showing how many times it's been stolen. Alrighty. I'm getting your PCP. I close it. I'll close it. Right. I'll be right here when you're done. Okay, thank you. I love you. Thank I love you, you too. Yep. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sweetie. This is the house I picked her up from five days ago. It seems like three years. <laughs> it's Friday. I got here on Sunday. Holy fuck. And no one's answering now. <laughs> we drove all the fucking way up here and nobody's answering. Oh damn, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, she's gonna be worse when she gets back. Oh, it's gonna be the worst thing ever. She's just gonna keep banging on that door till the sun comes up if need be. Now she's looking around, hoping maybe he's in the bushes.
but he's not in the bushes. He's not there and he's not in the bushes and now we go all the way here for drugs you're not gonna get. Hashtag good times. Oh, is he opening? Did somebody open? Oh, she just opened the outside door. So she can knock harder? Oh no, we let her in. Alright. So there's a deal to be had. Sherms is what she wanted. They're called Sherms. I, it's tobacco, which is just, that's not the bad part. Dipped in PCP. That is the Sherm that she's been throwing a fit about. Absolutely needed to drive 20 miles into Lancaster at one in the morning for good times. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey, where are you? In the front? Right where you left me. Okay. You coming out? Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Jesus Christ. Victoria? You good? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Fantastic. Any idea what's going on? She's acting like this? <laughs> There's nobody out there. Um... What's going on, Vicky? No. No. Okay. You just, just called and said you were ready to go. Yeah, you know, she's trying to get Sherm. Oh, you don't have Sherm. Huh? We, we drove all the way up here and you don't have Sherm? I don't have it, no, I don't. Why'd you want to come here to get it? She's a psycho. She's a drug addict. She needs help. Seriously needs help. Right? Seriously needs help, no. She seriously needs help. I love this girl. She lived with me for whatever, eight, eight, nine months. Um, I love her, you know? My baby. But uh yeah. Really? I can't get one You know she just dust off the can. Yeah. Are we gonna if it's not here, Vicky, we gotta just go. Okay. It's not going to appear here. So we'll hit the road. So what time is it available? I'm gonna play my schedule around the drive. Oh, you're gonna take off um, in the morning or? Well, I don't wanna come all the way back here for the oh, thing I that I just came back here for this time. Yeah. So when should we come back? Yeah. Just curious. Yeah, um, I have no idea. I don't, you know, I don't know. All right, well, sh you're gonna call her if it comes in? I just. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Well, yeah, I could do that. Or do you want her just to text you every 30 minutes for the rest of our lives? I think it was 20, and then you get two of them and hit me up. And you'll promise to call me when, when you get them home. And I'll give you the money so you can get yourself money. Give me one and call me one and please. I really, really want you so bad. Please. Please. All right. Yeah. He'll take care of it for you. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that can go on for days. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh my god. Alright, ready? I'm going to stay. Looking for a sherm butt. Would have been amazing, would have been amazing, would have been amazing. Oh my god. Is that your cup? Okay. Can we go, dude? It's like one, two in the morning. That's what I was looking for. Oh. I've got a. Um... You need some time out here? Yeah. Okay. The door open. Just leave it like this. Where? Where are you? I'm right here. Where is what room? The uh, one down the end of the hall. One down at the end of the hall. Yeah. I don't want to leave you out here like that, though. I'll just chill here if you want. You want to bring out a bowl? For a second. Huh? Yeah, for a second. You want me to go get a ball from the room? <clears throat> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I know I'm a lot. <laughs> Are you? I noticed. I appreciate you so fucking much. I know. We're going to get you out of this and it's going to be okay. I get it. It's really bad. You've been here for four years without me, man. And it, it's not a good place. It's been hectic. Yeah. Life's been real fucking hectic. Yeah. I would like to eventually. What? I would like to eventually. Get your shit together? Yeah, well, hopefully sooner better than later. Like next week and shit. You're gonna see a first horse next week. How's that? You're gonna hopefully ride a horse next week. I'm not sure if it's closed down because of that. But at least see one. I can't guarantee you'll ride one, but I guarantee you will see a horse by Friday. Today's Friday, so a week from today, you will see you will be touching a horse. Okay? So my promise to you is that in a week you will touch a horse. Burn up. Glad to help.
having beautiful days every day and stressed. Well, he actually kind of, I kind of sense, we're kind of almost having a talk right now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's stressful, huh? Yeah. It is. That's watch. for shizzy. I'm going to say, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say, but I'm going to say today, not for a thousand years to go for a few years, but the test champ without a face hits the ground to make a sound the other sound here, what's with the word? Down in here, coronavirus, don't get me get no dare. I got a lot of it to bear. I want to go get me a corona bear. Freestyle, oh dear. Let's go. Alright. Good freestyle, though. I bet. That was a good freestyle. Just letting you know, saying the show. I was, I'm not just some old boy. Oh, that's my. Cause, yeah, I heard it before. No, I got it. Yeah, Word. Alright, just grab your um, bottle and your phone and then close the door and then we'll walk towards your tall hotel room. It'll be good. It'll be fun. Then I'll get to finally eat my burrito. I've been trying to buy for the last I'm hour. Sorry. Okay, get your stuff. Suck. You're done. You're good. I know. I saw that. Well, I, I guess we're taking that too. Okay. 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 I was going to have a shake, but I guess she will. Okay. All right, let's go. Close the door. You can do it. Close the door. You got everything. You're good. I am. I'm sorry. You're good. I just wanted to grab this actually because no, I didn't grab it. Oh, you didn't grab tell everything. Me things and it's not true. Ooh, damn, son. And I try to go with what you say because it's all like go with this last minute thing you got. It's caught on the trash. Okay. Is it trash? All trash? Only trash? I don't know. I thought you had that as a trash bag. It's caught. There you go. There it is. Oh, yeah, son. You got it. Trash? I just leave it. All just, trash. just leave it. Leave right there. It's good. We're almost there. We're so close. Oh, We're so close. I can, feel, so, I can feel it. It's like twice. I can it almost. It twitched itself into an indenta. An indenta. Sure. Indenta. Uh huh. Indenta. A boobity bow. Smiggity smoo. And then the door closes. And then the door closes. And then the door closes. No? No? What oh, so close. Almost. Almost had it. Almost had it. So close to getting that door closed. I don't know. I don't like that. Where's your regular purse? I don't know. You left with a white, big white purse. I don't know, I was just... Your big white purse, Vicky. Stepping things into what looked like my titty and now you made me feel like... No, oh, it's, is that ah! your... Oh my god. Yeah, it is what it is. There it is. Okay. You can leave the boot because you don't have a boot like that in your room. Oh man. It's at the storage unit. There's a boot though. At the I know. Storage out of unit. all my shit. At the storage unit tomorrow you will find its I other boot. No, no, it's not even my storage unit. They're all it's in your storage in unit. They're all in your storage unit. No, it's somewhere in here. Well then we'll look through here. I don't know why, but I can fucking breathe. Awesome. But these, you... are my, these are my shoes. Uh-huh. I've had these shoes for a long, long time. I'm not joking though about that. I'm sorry. Okay. I... I even had these sh ones socks. Oh, sorry. It's taking longer than expected. Here's this and that. And your phone. And your purse. And we're walking. Need all those little things right now? Okay. I'm blessed. Okay. With my little fucking. Step out. Step away from the vehicle. That Ma'am, step away from the vehicle, ma'am. And... Croding dog. Dog who has not put on left. the bed needs to come with me. And then left. My blessed fam. Left again. Left again. Left, 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 left. Yours is down the end. Oh, there's so many lefts. So many lefts. It strips me out. This is... This is your really room. Uh, there you oh go. Oh, Superman. That's no... Oh, oh Super room. <laughs> Folks, have a fine evening. <laughs>
Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, fuck. Got it? Yeah. What's up? Is that it? Yeah. Biggity smooth, there you go. No, that's it. It's everything that was in the car. And this. Here. Do it in the morning. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Honestly, I did such a good job at the storage unit and even picking out what the fuck I wanted and then I just left it there because I freaked out and got angry and stressed out and left. Yeah. Well, there's definitely more stuff in here than I remembered. I mean, the whole reason you wanted to smoke was you get in the headspace to go yeah, through this stuff. Yeah, all the stress that you have to Okay, well, the stress is over now. We move forward, Vicky. Don't blow this, man. Okay. Please. We're blowing this now. How? What can, what can I do to get you to work? Is doing the help? You're helping? Well, you're, are you, what do you want me to do? You tell me, you, you're in charge. What do you, what do you want me to do? What can I do to help you? I don't want to feel that stress. Please. Then all your negative bullshit, please. Would you like me to leave? No. Would you no. work on it yourself? No. I can go do laundry for a couple hours. You can go through this stuff on your own. Would you? Can you do that? And then make two piles, keep in, keep in trash. And I'll come back in two hours. Can you do that, or is it going to be you freaking out in thirty minutes because I'm not here? Well. It's not helping me in any way. If I'm causing you stress, I just leave. You work on the storage unit. Is that okay? Okay, I'm gonna go. How does this help? How did you think you were being a good person by making me feel like this? I'm gonna be I didn't make you point. tweak! No, 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 fuck you, bitch. Because honestly, a lot of people out here tweak and they can act normal. Then why aren't you oh, acting okay. normal? So oh, okay, okay. I'm going to go away for two hours and do laundry. When I come back, if you have worked on this, that'd be great. Because it's going to be empty on Sunday. And if you get your stuff out, that'd be great. But if you don't, this is going to be empty on Sunday. Do you have your phone? Are you going to be able to stay here and work on this? Yeah. I want to get it. I want to drop it off somewhere. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, you, if I drop you somewhere, I clean this out. It'll be empty, dude. I, you need to save your stuff. There's no splitting up now unless you really want to stay in Lancaster. I mean, I can't help you if you don't want to go, dude. I'm not making you go. Uh, but you're fucking freaking out over I don't know what. You make me feel like you trick me. It's so yes. fucking annoying. We get out of here. I already decided to quit. I mean, we learned to fucking ease up on this. Because I'm always stirring in I'm sorry I upset you. Go as easy as you need. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I had things that I, I wanted for specifically. Like 10 minutes. I wanted what I liked specifically, even. And I had it ready. Yeah, fine. I don't know what. I, don't and know I was why. happy. I was really happy. I was going to even, I was going to be like, dude, thank you so much for doing certain things. Like, all this shit is all amazing, and I'm so surprised as fuck. And I was going to be like, wow. But then you were just like, da -da -da -da. I can't just. Why would you do that, though, to a person that already feels like they're already like. He even looked at you like, what are you going to think, Is say? There? But you don't have any feeling. You don't understand that feeling. You don't know what that's like. Okay. I wish you would. I will work oh, on that. Isn't that fucked up that he doesn't know and he just thinks it's funny? I'm just... It is, though, huh? Come, please, please help me a little bit. Yeah, side with on this one, man. I'm wrong. Come on, tell me. Okay. When a person feels you like that, yeah, it is kind of fucked up. Or... He's he's doing the best thing he can. Word. And you got a bunch of stuff now you can dig through and rearrange 800 times. But then making me feel like, you know. 
Well, we had errands to do and such. My yeah. bad. We'll try to do it more gently. We have a lot more weed for tomorrow. Well, so you'll be able to relax. Let's see what was in here. Is that Ricky? Let's see what was in there yet? Ooh. Candy. Damn. Mega super joint. Regular joint and edibles. Okay? Woohoo! What are we talking about? Somebody really loves you. What are we talking about? I'm sorry. You were complaining that I was hurrying you up at the storage unit, so you freaked out and then went and did a can. I didn't do a can, dude. I thought you said you did. No, I just. Oh my god. Okay. How many times did we just go through this, though? You I know? thought just now. You, you did. heard that too, right? Okay. You know well, what's I'm gonna, going on. I'm right? going to sleep. He's just saying that I can't, even though I did, uh, I, did a, I did a fucking shrimp stick, and that's what we even said okay to. Okay. Well, then, I will this see. This is what I mean. This is what you tediously, constantly. Well, he's just trying to make sure that you don't, you don't, you don't. No, you don't understand how he's well, acting like my that. ass for stupid shit. Well, I'm and leaving then he in says two days. okay with certain things, but then he rips. And I'm leaving in two days, and then you don't have to worry about it, okay? Right. But as I was saying, I will see you in the morning. I'm going to sleep. Yeah. We will try to get errands done tomorrow. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff. You guys have a great night. Thank you, sir. My wallet's right here. My wallet's right here. Oh. You wonder why I'm fucking um, trip, but I don't know where the shit is. I'm just like, my shit even. Oh, I gotta go get to my room because I don't have the information. Give me a pen. I'll, I got a pen. I'm gonna bring back your notebook with the information and the key. Okay? What do I do? So you just relax. What Smoke one of these joints right. for the what dear, sweet love happening? of Christ What's Almighty. Happening? You have a lighter? Anyone have a lighter? Yeah, okay. What's going yes. On? You're about what to get happened? high. What happened? What just happened? You're about to get high. What just happened, though? Hmm. What just happened? All right, we had a conversation that made none of no sense. What just happened? Nothing happened, babe. What happened is that you're going to smoke that joint, I guess. Smoke that joint. You're not realizing I'm going to go get your stuff. I'll be right back. A lot of my brain is <coughs> oh, oh Lord. The, oh, the okay. bottom part by your door? Oh, the door. Okay. Yeah. The bottom part of your door. My door. But there's a little uh, thingy that holds shit. Okay, I'll go look. Take this. I'll be right back. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, this is the last of the stuff of yours that I found. There's a mirror. There are these two things. There's a marker, and is this the thing you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I have to sleep before I die, okay? I will see you in the morning, and we'll do more errands. Okay? Okay. I love you. Night. That's fine. Oh, my fucking Christ. You want me to take you back to the room, right? Yeah. You're going to have to get inside the vehicle for that to happen. Right. Vicky, we're at the storage unit. We have to drive all the way back to Palmdale for the room. Okay. You have to get in the van for that to happen. Are you making a joke? No. You think I'm gonna drive down the street with you sitting outside of the fucking van? You gotta get in the van. All the way in. There, here we go. You got it. All the way in the van. All the way in.